So here is the Jazzwares Micro Galaxy Squadron Asajj Ventress Genevex Starfighter. Um, and this thing is really cool. So first, uh, I'll just walk through the, um, the features of it. I'll go ahead and do some measurements, and then I'll do an Action Fleet comparison, just so you have a general idea of how it compares to Action Fleet ships. So first, just looking at the box. So it actually comes in a great display here. Uh, all of the figures like they have here with all of the Jazzwares, they're all inside of this individual package, which is a really nice feature, um, depending on how you'd want to display the figures, but it's pretty cool to actually have them in there. And then uh, as we flip it over, we get an opportunity to see some of the features of it uh, and then some of the other ships that are in the line. So um, now if we go ahead and look at what it comes with. So you actually do get a stand. So this is one of the only versions that we're getting a stand with here in the first line. And then um, also, um, like all of these uh, Jazzwares products, they come with a little folding card here that's actually in the bottom that has the, um, the logo and everything on it. So it's nice to be able to display this uh, like that so you have some type of a small background. Um, but uh, either way, we'll start first with just the measurements of this. So when it's in this position, when it's in the uh, folded fan position, um, the height here, it's about um, just about four inches from gun to gun. And then from front to back, it's about four and a half, maybe four and three quarter inches. And then when you open it, so uh, this is so cool. I really love that feature of it. Um, so then you can adjust the guns like that. So when it's in this position, now if you're looking at the height of this, it's about seven inches tall. So um, I mean, that just looks so cool being able to expand the wing out like that. And they did a really good job with this as well with making this actually look relatively good because typically if you had something like this where you were going to expand the fan out like that you would think it would look really um really junky like uh bulky and everything and you can see once you move this into the um, the open position it actually looks pretty sleek so that's a really cool ship and this is something that we just don't really ever see so i mean it was featured very briefly uh, i believe in just the clone wars movie but um I'm not 100% sure on that. So <clears throat> then you have the opening cockpit. Pops open like that. Not really a, any detail in the cockpit, um, but still pretty cool. Cool color too. I like the color of this one a lot. And then you get um, Asajj Ventress. So she's got her two lightsabers, which is pretty cool. Um, and this has this figure actually has a ton of detail. So I'll see if we can get the detail here on the face. But you can actually see um, they did a really good job here with actually getting her eyes in there. Even though it's not painted, you can still see the detail on there is pretty awesome, especially for a figure of this size. So arms move up kind of like you have with the other, the other ones. Um, and then uh, also she can... Um, hinge forward there, the hips. So then if you wanted her to fly in the ship, put her in there, close that, and then she's in. So I really hope that they do more of these stands. None of the actual other items in this line have peg holes for them to be able to be on stands. Um, but this one, um, actually does come with a stand and it looks really nice. So it's got the Star Wars logo on it. Um, you know, it's got whatever this detailing is, it's on the side. And then you can see you got the two peg holes on the bottom. So you can just plug this in that and it can stand up. Now it'd be really cool to have an opportunity to be able to expand the wings out and have it stand up, but obviously there's limitations. You have to stop somewhere. So um, either way, I think this is really cool. Love this one. 
And then if we're looking at it relative to uh, another action plate chip, so if we just use the TIE Fighter as a comparison, um, here you can see the TIE Fighter is obviously a lot bigger. So it doesn't scale very well with this one. I don't think, I don't know, I'm not really a scale expert. This is what it looks like from the side. And then from a figure perspective, again, figure's an inch tall, just like all the rest of them. And the action fleets are an inch and an eighth. So there you go. So could you fit an action fleet figure inside of this? So if we took a TIE pilot and try to put them in there, there we go, he fits. And so I've been seeing that a lot with these, that sometimes the action fleet figure will actually fit in it, sometimes it won't. So I think it's going to be a toss up there. Um, for the most part, they'll fit in a lot of the ships. Um, so anyways, there is the Genevec Starfighters. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.